Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a random haul for you. Um, these are the tell in things that I purchased during the month of November. So I have some beauty products and then a couple of non beauty products that I purchased. So um, without further ado, let's get started. So anyway, I have um, my husband and I did a little quick trip to Branson. It was very quick. Um, we had to come back in the middle of the trip. But anyway, we did go to the outlet mall. And while I was at the outlet mall, I hit the um, Kate Spade store and purchased a couple pair of earrings while I was there. So we'll start with the Kate Spade. Sorry, I got sacks. <laughs> so here's the pretty Kate Spade. Um, sack. Isn't that pretty with that pretty pink? I love that. And like I said, I did get a couple pair of earrings and they were on sale. And I ended up paying $19.20 for one pair and $19.60 for the other pair. I don't know which one was which, but anyway. It doesn't matter. One pair you may have seen, uh oh, they're with the card in videos because I've been wearing them and they were just these little, um, both of them are like a um, silver tone, but just these little um, hoops here. And of course they have the, the little crystals here in the front that look like fake diamonds. They're not diamonds, but anyway, they're the ones I've been wearing in the last several videos that I've done if I've been wearing anything that's with um, silver or white gold these are the little um, earrings that I've been wearing they look really really cute on I'll put them on just in case you haven't noticed them because they're kind of tiny but that's what I wanted I just wanted some small ones to wear just for kind of kind of dainty and they're pretty comfortable on the ears. Um, I do have a little bit sensitive ears, so I have to be careful with what I get. And these don't bother too much. At some some days they bother more than other days, which is kind of odd. But anyway, so I did get those. And then the other pair that I got are these little crystal looking stud balls right there on the card. And I haven't worn these. These have been in the, um, the little tub here my little tub of goodies right here that's got all the other stuff in here <laughs> that's been waiting for me to show you guys and um so oh yeah i want products over there oh well so that's what these look like which you're not going to be able to see probably but i'll put that in this ear if i can find the hole this ear i always have a hard time finding the hole oh there we go let's see what these look like on if I can get it hooked, there we go. Which is going to be hard to see with my hair. Oh yeah, those are pretty. I like those. <laughs> I like those. Those are pretty. So, those are the earrings that I got at the Kate Spade store. And both of them came in these little cute little pouches that say um, Kate Spade on them. So if you ever go to the Kate Spade store at the outlet mall, You'll get a cute little pouch, and if you request, usually they ask me if I want a box. They didn't ask me if I wanted a box that that day, which it was almost closing time. That may have been wine. They probably just wanted to get me, hurry up and get me out of there, because <laughs> we got there late. But anyway, so that was at the Kate Spade store, and then the other store that I purchased at was at the company cosmetic outlet store and um, I didn't go too hog wild I just purchased a few things from the Clinique counter in there the Clinique stuff they were having a really good sale um, plus the guy that works in there he's like the manager in there he's always there and he gave me a coupon also so I only spent um, a total of ninety dollars and one penny and I got quite a bit of stuff quite a bit of stuff um, and all of this stuff would have cost me gosh oh wait I do have my I do have my phone I have a calculator if I went to went into a Clinique counter 
and purchase this, say like at Dillard's or Macy's or any place like that, this stuff would have cost me, let me add it up really, really quick. So this would have cost $193 and I spent $90. So I saved quite a bit of money. And it's products that I'm going to use. It's products that I do use. And um, so for $13.50 each, I got the Clarifying Lotion number three. And you've seen these in my empties quite often. So I picked up um, not one, not two, but la, 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 three of these, three bottles of these. And I use these every morning, every evening, um, after I have cleansed my skin, taken all the makeup off and cleansed, I will take put some of this on a cotton pad and run it all over my face just to make sure I've gotten all of the makeup off. And then this helps also to exfoliate the skin and prep the skin for um, my skin care routine. And that's how I've used it. That's how I've used it for years and years and years probably going on at least 20 years now so that's how I use it have always used it and absolutely love it and will continue to use it as long as they make it and then the other product that I purchased that I have used and have worn for years and is probably considered my signature scent and it's the Clinique Happy and this is the 3.4 ounces of perfume. I have some still left in my bottle that I'm using that's probably got like this much in it so I'm going to not open this. I'm going to put this in my closet and put it back there in the back where it's nice and dark and cool so it will keep it and um, but yeah I ended up spending this ended up being how much did this end up being? Let me look on my receipt here. I say the receipt so I could show you. $21. Yeah, $21 is how, how much I ended up spending on that one. That's cheap. That is cheap. And these are all authentic um, products, too. They're not like knockoffs or anything like that. And then the next product that I got, I haven't used this in a long time. I've had a sample of it every once in a while, but as far as having the actual product, I haven't had it in a very long time and I know I like using it and just haven't had it, but it's the um, turnaround cream, the Clinique Turnaround Overnight Revitalizing Moisturizer. It's kind of like a, um, a exfoliant that you would wear at night. So I got another, I got a jar of it. Like I said, I haven't had it in a really long time. This I ended up paying um, $21 for it. So yeah, really do like this. And it really does work to help have, you wake up with a really bright skin with this, definitely. And it's just a little cream right there. So definitely going to be incorporating that into my skincare. Love this. I remember when I, um, I used to work for um, Clinique back in the day and I would go in and when they would do their special events like their gift with purchase or maybe they were doing a um, bonus or something to that effect and I would go in I didn't actually work for like Dillard's or at the time Macy's wasn't here in Oklahoma Macy's wasn't Macy's it was Foley's um, so I would go to Dillard's or I would go to Foley's or I would go to Saks whenever they would have any kind of event, like gift with purchase or whatever. And my job was to go outside of the counter and recruit people to come in, customers, bring customers in, and set them down and sell them a product. Mainly the three-step product program, which included a soap, a bar soap, um, the clarifying lotion, and a dramatically different moisturizing lotion. And um, I had this little, I don't know, um, process and how I would do it. Because, you know, at that time, you know, people, this was back during the, the 90s. 
you know, people didn't really have like skin t skincare regimes, especially not a multiple step skincare regime. You know, you were good if, if you cleansed your skin and slapped on a moisturizer. So, um, in order to get them to remember, because, you know, this, this is my job was to sell them the three step plus the turnaround cream. And then we had a serum that was called Stop Signs. And, you know, that was, that was my goal was to sell them that system. So, um, the three step was, you know, the, the bar soap, the dramatically different moisturizing cream, and the clarifying lotion. That was the three steps. And then a turnaround cream, and then the stop signs. So, I would get them, you know, in the chair, and I would talk to them. You know, we had this little, this little, um, machine that you would ask them questions and each question you know how they answered it you would slide the little scale over and then that would you would determine you know what kind of skin they had if they had dry oily combination and that would determine which clarifying lotion they would get so um so i'd have them get out of the chair because you know i would want them to remember on what order to do their skincare regime in and I'm like, they're, cause they're like, oh, that's too many steps. I'm not going to remember because it was just five, five products, you know. I'm like, yeah, you will. It's going to be really easy. So I, I would take them, you know, I would take them on the outside of the chair in the little aisle. I'm like, okay, now let's, let's take three steps. I'm like, walk with me. Three steps. One, two, three. Step one, the soap. Step two, the, mo the clarifying lotion. Step three, the moisturizer, the dramatically different moisturizer lotion. Your three steps, one, two, three. I said, now turn around. They would turn around. Your turnaround cream. They're like, I'm, I was like, no, wait. Step three, one, two, three. I said, now stop. They're like, okay, stop. I said, that's your stop signs, your serum. They're like, okay. I'm like, now turn around. I said, your turnaround cream. <laughs> so they say, take three steps, stop, turn around. <laughs> and that is your steps. You know, they don't do the stop signs anymore. They discontinued that. It's no longer in production, but it was the, the serum that they did. And that's your, that's your steps. You take three steps, you stop, you turn around. You're good to go. <laughs> so, but that was my, when I would go in, that was my job was not to wait for customers to come up to the counter. My job was to go out into the store and recruit customers to come to the counter and then I would do my little spiel and sell them the three step and then try to add on the stop signs and the turnaround cream. So anyway, that was my job. And if I couldn't get them in the store to do it, then I would go out in the mall and try and recruit them to come into the store and do it that way. I enjoyed it. I liked doing it. I had a good time doing it. Okay, so that was all I bought at the outlet mall that I can show you. The only other thing I did was went to the bra store and bought some bras, but you don't want to see my bras, so I'm not going to do that. So I went and did some Christmas shopping for the grandkids, and I purchased a product from um, <laughs> this store. What is this store called? I don't ever go to this place because I don't drink coffee, but I like to go here every Christmas and get an ornament. Starbucks. <laughs> I have to think about it. Starbucks. And I don't know why I want to collect the ornaments because I have not. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have them sitting over here on my little, my little cabinets here. I'm not even hung them on a tree yet, but anyway, anyway, I have the little Starbucks ornament. This one's a little red the little um, coffee mug I think that's what it's called tumbler coffee tumbler and it's just a little red crystal eye sparkly with the Starbucks emblem and that's the one that I purchased they only had two other ones I had a total of three and the other one let me get this up was white it was white and then it had this Mary coffee coffee in red all over it but I didn't like that because I don't I don't drink coffee so I didn't like that that design and then the other one was a more fancier tumbler that had like a lid and then it had a straw sticking out of it 
<laughs> I don't know what it's called. And it was kind of like an ir iridescent. Anyway, it was a lot more money than that, than this one. This one was like $8. And then that one was like 12 I think. But anyway, I just got the one. This one, this one's good to add to my collection that doesn't get hung on any trees. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll do a little tree and hang all these on there. I'm not even putting up a tree this year because on Mondays I watch my little grandsons here at the house and my little nine month old, I cannot keep him out of anything. He's, he bellies, he army crawls doesn't get up and crawl but anyway he gets into everything I have my fireplace barricaded because I can't keep him out of the fireplace I have had to move stuff and barricade things off and I, I just don't have any way to barricade him away from my Christmas tree and my Christmas tree is too tall to put up on top of a table so I'm just not gonna put it up because I just don't I just don't want to fight with him all day on Monday <laughs> to keep him away from my Christmas tree and I can just see him pulling on it and it falling over on him and I don't want him to get hurt number one and number two I don't want my ornaments to get broke because they I did a um a retro Christmas tree and I have a lot of old ornaments that I've gone around to a lot of antique places to find that are retro looking and are from the 50s and I don't want those to get broke I know so, I'm not putting up my tree this year. Anyway, okay, back to the haul. Uh, from TJ Ma Max, <laughs> I purchased some um, makeup remover wipes instead of going to Big Lots and purchasing the ones that you see every single month in my haul. Um, my, not my haul, but my empties video. I thought I would try something different. These are the spa scriptions. They were on clearance for four dollars and there was a four pack in here. I have one here that I'm actually using. They're okay. Um, I think after I use these I'm going to go back to the ones that I buy in Big Lots. But, um, so I have these that I'm using up from Spa Scriptions. The ones I'm using right now they're Glacier Water and Collagen. And then there's, um, there's Hyaluronic Acid glycolic acid, retinol, and then the collagen ones that I'm using. So they're okay. Not my favorite. Then I have something from Ulta. I went in, I had my $10 off coupon for my birthday month and my free gift for my birthday and I just dropped. So like I was saying, I went in and used my $10 off coupon for my birthday month and I got the Anastasia um, Eyelid Primer. I don't like it. It's okay. It's just, I, I don't like it. It's really hard to work with. First of all, you have to be really, really quick to get it thinned out. It goes on, it comes out of the tube like way too much for one thing. And then you have to work really, really hard to get it on and get it start getting it thinned out before it starts drying. I just don't, I don't like it. But anyway, it wasn't that much. So thank goodness. I think this was. I have the receipt. How much was that stuff? It's this. It's a small tube. Um, it was thirteen dollars. Is how much it um, normally is. So I got that. And then I did get a couple more of the eyebrow pencils that I like to use from e.l.f. in the color blonde. Picked up a couple of those. Those are $2 a piece. And then the free gift is from MAC for the month of November, which is good. Normally by the time November gets here, their birthday gift for November is like horrible. It seems like the first of the year, the birthday gifts are really, really good. And then as the year gets, progresses on, the birthday gifts for Ulta are like, Ugh. but this, this was good. It's in the color Teddy, I think. It's not a color that I would wear. Velvet Teddy, yeah, Velvet, Velvet Teddy. So I'm gonna give it to my daughter. Um, Cause it's, it's a nude color in I don't wear nudes. Y'all know that. I usually have a red lip on. Today I've got kind of a, a pinky 
mauve color, but um, that's the color there. I'm not going to swatch it because, like I said, I'm going to give it to her. She would, she will like this color, so that's going to her. And since we share an account at Ulta, um, she won't get a birthday gift in January since we share one, so she'll get that. So that's what I got at Ulta. And then I did place an order at um, Sephora, and this was right after the VIB sale. I had, um, I forgot what video it was, I was talking about how um, dry my under eyes were, and someone suggested trying the Kiehl's Avocado um, Under Eye Cream. So I found this kit on Sephora's website and so I thought I would give it a try um, because there was I think it was my VIB haul that I did you know the 20% off sale and there was a couple of things from that haul that I was going to send back so I thought well from that money that I was going to get back from those items I thought well I would purchase this and I dropped something I'm just dropping everything. So anyway, there was, um, because I didn't use a discount or anything on it, I was able to put in a code. And they were doing a code where you could get a free um, little mini um, perfume. I almost said lipstick, but a perfume. And so I chose the Re Replica Jazz Club. And um, it looks like this here, which... This did not come empty. I have um, decanted it into a little spray sprayer so I could spray it on me. I like the way it smells, but nobody else around me <laughs> likes it <laughs> at all. The lady I works with, every time I wear it, she's like, she's like, do you smell? She goes, what's that smell? Do you smell something burning? <laughs> or she's like, do I smell, do I smell sage? <laughs> And then my husband, when I get home, because he doesn't, when he leaves in the morning, I'm still in bed because he leaves like at 4 o'clock in the morning. Then when I get home in the evening, he'll get in the car, we get ready to go eat, and he's like, what's that smell? <laughs> Nobody likes it, but I like it. I think it smells good. <laughs> but, so, um, needless to say, this will definitely not be a, um, a purchase of a big size, plus it's expensive anyway, but... I like it so I'm this bottle that I decanted into my little spray bottle my little travel spray bottle is probably gonna last me a long time because I'm not gonna be able to wear it very often um, it may have to be one of those those times that I um, I'm going to be wearing it when I'm by myself I was gonna see if it said anything here but yeah but yeah, I like it though, but they don't like it. And now when I wear it, I'm kind of self-conscious about it because I'm, I realize nobody around likes it. Anyway, back to the little kit here. It has a whole bunch of little deluxe size samples in it of different products from Kiehl's. And the main reason why I ordered it is because it had a really good size um, product of the avocado creamy eye treatment with avocado. Now this size right here sells for $30 at Ulta, Sephora, wherever Kills is sold at, and um, which is the 0.5 ounce or 14 grams. And it looks like this here. And I've been using this at night. It just takes a little bit because if you get too much of it, it's hard to work it in underneath the eyes because it's just so concentrated and it is very 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 hydrating definitely very hydrating so um, thank you very much to um, to Anne for um, recommending this because I really do like it it is very hydrating for sure and definitely needed it definitely for this type of year but it is um, like I said very very hydrating and a little bit goes a long way and you do kind of have to work it in. So like I said, you, you wanted to start out with just a little bit and, and work it in and then you can always add a little bit more if you need to. What is up there flashing? Something's up there flashing. Are you getting ready to shut off on me? Okay, nope. 
And then the other thing that was in here that I really, really do like that I've used twice now, I've used it again this morning, and it's a mask. It's the Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask. And this was 0.35 ounces, 10 grams, which is right here. It's just a deluxe sample, but like I said, I've used it twice. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get probably three more uses out of this. But it is very, very hydrating. Very hydrating. It's a rinse-off mask. I don't actually rinse it off. I just take a warm washcloth and wipe it away. But I don't wipe all of it away. I will leave just a little bit left on my face and then I will just rub it in like a, a light moisturizer. It has a little bit of a scent but not too bad at all. But it is very moisturizing. Very good. And I've used, both times that I've used this, I've used it of the morning time and my face just glows afterwards. It's just so hydrating and so moisturizing and it's just wonderful on the skin. And same way with this eye cream. Here on your eyes just glow. I use this, the eye, the eye cream at night I use. And then I've been using the toner that came with it and this is the Calendula Herbal Extract Toner and it's alcohol free made with whole flowers and pure extracts for normal to oily skin types. I didn't realize it said for oily, but anyway, I've been using this at night and this is a 1.4 fluid ounces. And I didn't realize it had all these little bits in there because I, I, at night I don't have my glasses on. Anyway, I've been using this at night. Um, toner. It's okay. I mean, it's not a product that I would... Um, so inclined to rush out to buy once it's gone but these two products most definitely I would definitely repurchase and then the other product that's in here is a moisturizer and this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula I haven't used this a whole lot just a few times and I've used it at night it's not a mo enough moisturization for me to use at night um, so I'm probably going to switch this to a day moisturizer once I get through using a couple of the um, moisturizers that I'm using right now that I want to use up for during the day. And then also in here was a oil and this is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And this was a 0.5 fluid ounce and um, this is made with pure essential oils and... Um, it's supposed to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So this is a nighttime oil. I've only used it just a couple of times because I have a couple of other oils that I really need to use up before I start using another oil that are a little bit older. But anyway, so I can't really say a whole lot about that one because I've only used it once or twice. Anyway, so that is it for um, the rest of the stuff that I bought during the month of November. I was kind of holding off to haul all of this um, because I thought maybe I would order some stuff during Black Friday and Cyber Monday and the whole Cyber Week. But I did not. I didn't get anything during Black Friday or that Monday or anything. I just, I was going to, but I, I just didn't. I, ha I just have so much stuff right now that I just need to really concentrate on what I've got and really start using up what I have before I bring in more stuff. And I'm going to start filming my declutter series and once you guys start seeing that you're going to you're going to realize yeah <laughs> you don't need to buy any more stuff you got a you got enough cuz i'm getting rid of a lot that i have spent a lot of money on and when i go to resell it it's going to be re I was just talking about how the products that i've going to be um, decluttering you know it's either going to be given away it's going to be thrown away or you know if I can sell it it's it's going to be sold but it's not going to be sold for very much I mean and I know a lot of those products I've spent a lot of money on 
So um, for 2020, I'm just, I'm really, really going to just be very mindful of what I'm spending my money on as far as beauty related goes. So anyway, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed uh, what I showed you and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.